And now we have the Scream 5 Kills Ranked. This is going to be the shortest one, along with the first one, because there is eight kills apiece when you include Maureen Prescott in the first film's ranking. So, <clears throat> getting right in here, eighth place is the cop named Clay, who's just dead on the floor. Um, duh. <laughs> Seventh place is Vince. One good stab to the jugular and just bleeds out. Um, the rest have a lot more going on than that. Sixth place is Amber. Face is all fucked up like a topographical map of Montana face-fucked Freddy Krueger, or whatever the line is. Amber then getting shot. What lessens the kill for me is, like, I fucking hate the Babadook, so the fact that that's tagged on to the end there... Anywho, but, uh, the, the, that whole kill is interesting, but it's, I, I prefer the realer ones on here, too. Fifth place is Judy, stabbed to fuck, just repeatedly stabbed in broad daylight over and over again. Um, yeah, it's weird, because in the fourth movie, I was like, man, I wish that character died, and in the fifth movie... I liked her by the time she died, so it had mixed feelings. In fourth place, we got Liv. One of my favorite reveals, maybe. I don't know, I haven't tried to rank just the reveals. But Liv getting shot in the face, like, I'm not the fucking killer. It's like, I know. Bam. Just brutal, perfect. Mwah. Love it. Third place, <clears throat> Wes. The next stab through both sides and the slowly just mm, that whole thing really wicked, <laughs> pretty brutal. Second place Richie, um, stabbed twenty two, I stabbed him twenty two times and I slit his throat and then I shot him in the head. Oh, Need I say more? But in first place is Dewey. Finally, someone important dies in the last fucking forever. If you're not including the show, because characters that you would think are important died throughout the show. Um, but if you're just thinking about the movies, then the last important death before Dewey was Cotton Weary. And that's the beginning of the third movie. And then nothing else for the rest of the third movie and the fourth movie. Even though in both of them, they hint towards moving on from the old cast. Because in three, Randy says, anyone can die. And then in four, it's all about reboots or remakes. And they're going towards the uh, all that stuff. So it's pushing towards a new cast. And, they don't, and then they still don't kill anyone. And then... By the fifth movie, it needed to happen. And of course it was Dewey, because you can't kill Sydney. And Gail, not everyone would have cared, because she's such an awful person to most people, and that's only funny to some of us. <laughs> and it does get old, I will say. But if Gail would have died, then half the audience would have been upset, and half of them would have been cheering. When Dewey died, yes, I cheered, but I was also a little upset. Because <laughs> I cheered because I was like, this movie's doing stuff! <laughs> Anywho, that's my ranking of the kills in Scream 5. I do love also just the way Dewey's killed, obviously, because stabbed in multiple places and then ripped up, just like from the front and the back, like, there's no way. There's no way. No bueno. But, uh, yeah, and that just leaves Scream 6 left over, so that should be fun. Uh, like, subscribe, and all that bullshit.